I was recently told about an experience a man called Jeff had in a hospital in Africa. It was a hospital full of pretty tough sights, but he remembered saying to the person who showed him round that at least there had been that one lovely room where the 20 little children were sleeping. His guide told him the children weren't sleeping. They were all in malaria comas. Many of them would never wake up, never leave that hospital. This is happening all over Africa. 3,000 children die there every day from malaria. But this is a completely preventable disease. Only 60 years ago, malaria was all over the world. It killed more people in Italy during the Second World War than bombs and bullets did. And then in the 1950s, the world decided to wipe it out. It worked in many places, but they left a bit of it, mainly in Africa. But now that bit they left kills nearly a million people, most of them children under five, every year. This is crazy, because there are some really simple, really little things that make a massive difference and save a huge number of lives. For instance, mosquito nets. One simple reason children die is because they don't have nets, because they sleep without nets at night. And during the night, usually after 10 p.m., a tiny mosquito comes and flies round them and settles and bites. And that, to all intents and purposes, is that life over. But if there was a net covering the little thing at night, the mosquito would never reach the skin. In places where they have got lots of nets, the drop in malaria deaths has been massive. It takes more to wipe the disease out, but if they could get nets up all over Africa, it would help save hundreds of thousands of lives. There really is an alternative to the situation today, where a million times a year, mothers kiss their children goodnight, and 10 hours later, when the child wakes up, it's doomed. A mosquito lands, there's no medicine, the hospital's too far away, a life is over. Sometimes we worry that not enough big things get done, but beating malaria is something huge our generation can do. That's the dream. That's something we can all aim for. It would be great to wake up one morning and read a paper with that headline.